Hi, it's Emma from thecraftycurator.com. So I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to make a quick and easy snood. Um, so I'm going to use size 10 millimeter needles, very, very thick needles. I've decided to get chunky wool and use three strands together to get a really thick, chunky um, style snood. So I'm putting the three strands together and make one loop. That's your first stitch. So just put, that, put that onto the needle. Now, to start your next stitch, you put the needle through the loop wrap the wool around once as you can see see that's the way i'm holding the wool so i have it wrapped around my baby finger and my first finger here whatever feels comfortable for yourself so that's two now for the next stitch instead of going into the stitch which you can do i'm going to go into the space between the two stitches to make the next stitch it just it just seems to make a nicer stitch nicer finish on the on the the bottom edge of the piece so we're gonna so that's casting on So for the snood, really you're going to have 23 stitches on the needle. Um, I'm just going to show you for um, demonstration purposes how to do the stitches. I haven't obviously got 23 stitches on this needle here. I'm just going to show you how to do the stitches you need to do for the snood. So you'd really need to extend that by up to 23 stitches. So... I'm going to start with the first stitch so we're going to knit one bring the wool around the needle and bring the needle in the back way through the next stitch it can be slightly tricky because if you've tripled up the wool three times but it's a matter of for this so for these two stitches here you're doing purl so you've knit one two purl then bring the wool back around knit one bring the wool back around and then purl two Knit one, purl two. So that's basically what you would do for the first row, anyways. Knit one, purl two. near the end of the row now knit one purl two so you turn the needle around so on this side then you're going to knit two it was slightly caught up there now so that's the tricky thing about it you need to try and tease the wool out a bit and make sure that you don't have any knots so you've knitted two Bring the wool around, purl one, 
make two. Power one. Two So it's basically these two rows for the whole garment My wool is starting to get knotted up again there to just tease it out a little bit The advantages of using like doubling or tripling up the wool like this is that you make a really thick garment quite quickly, especially with the size 10 needles. So I'm just going to knit two and purl one. I want it and I'm going to cast off. So I'm just going to show you how to cast off. Just gonna do knitting cast off the whole way along. So you're knitting the first stitch, second stitch, and then you're pulling the first stitch over the second stitch. Try and keep it quite loose as well, so that it'll be even with the beginning edge when you're sewing it together. As you can see, it makes this kind of style on the edge. I'm just going to show you one more time. So you just knit and then Using the needle, pull the stitch over. Knit into the next stitch. And pull it over. So at this point I have threaded through one strand through the darning needle. And I'm going to join the two pieces together the two ends together so it's just a matter of pulling through each side Sometimes you get a stitch at the end that can be quite large. It just seems to happen at the end of the work. So we're just gonna I'm just gonna tighten that up a bit so it's not gonna be visible. And by doing that, I'm basically just going to, to keep just overdoing that stitch a few times. These two strands here, I will just sew in at the very end. So we're now just going to move up to the next piece. So basically you're catching this side and this side. Quite straightforward. So we've now finished sewing in the seam the whole way along and sewing in any loose strands, any loose 
uh, pieces of wool throughout. And now I'm going to turn it the right way around, which is the way I want to wear the snood. So this is the right way around. So you can barely, just barely make out the seam the whole way along. And just zoom out a little bit and show you. So there you have it. There's a basic snood. Real cozy, really easy to make. And I hope you enjoyed making this tutorial. Thank you, Emma, thecraftycurator.com.